From the humblest foot soldier using only his hands to the skillful martial artist wielding deadly swords, they were Japan's warriors. <laughs> using the power of the mind, body and spirit, they developed deadly fighting techniques that have survived the centuries. You're going to feel a lot of pain. Today's grandmasters are still passing on the secrets of thousands of years of weaponry and battle techniques. In the middle of the East China Sea, on the crossroads of China and Japan, lies the island of Okinawa. Surrounded by crystal clear waters and treacherous coral reefs, Okinawa is the birthplace of karate, the way of the empty hand. Every part of every movement has a purpose. Nothing is wasted in karate. It's not for show, it's not for pretty, and it sure as hell ain't for points. I was a member of the United States Air Force. While in the service, I put in for orders to go overseas uh, to Asia because I wanted to learn more about the martial arts. I've been here for 10 years now, and I've studied Okinawa Karate for 10 years. Wade Croninger is a black belt in Goju Ryu, one of five main karate styles. Go meaning hard, and ju meaning soft. This system is based on the oriental concept of yin and yang. This states that being totally hard is ineffective, and being totally gentle could be harmful. The two qualities should complement each other. Okay, pair up! Good, fall through with your hip. All right. To study this style, now almost a century old, every aspect of a student's life must take on an element of training. What Wade puts his pupils through, he himself suffers at the hands of his teacher. We consider the training the forge. The hotter the forge, the harder and sharper the steel is eventually, but the steel is the heart. And having a strong heart means that you'll never have to hurt anyone. Students learn kata. Kata, or forms, encompass all of the moves and techniques at the heart of karate. Without kata, all you have are athletics and tricks. Kata is the heart of karate. Without that, you don't have karate. And by training the kata, you develop the warrior within you. One learns best by beginning with the fundamental moves, master the form to achieve the essence. Wade Croninger's master, or sensei, in Goju Karate is Masaaki Ikemiyagi. Wade has expressed his own need, what he wants to achieve. That, with physical training, he will also discipline his mind. So I've helped him with that. The relationship that I have with my teacher is more of a father-son relationship. I am loyal to him above all else as far as the martial arts are concerned. And we have a very, very close relationship, which is why he doesn't hold back when we train as he would with the other students. The training is a specific form of Goju Karate called Sanchin, meaning three battles. These are the battles between the mind, body and spirit. One element is taken away, you, you lose your effectiveness. So without the mind and the spirit, as well as the physical abilities, you've taken away your effectiveness as a warrior. When attacking, it's extremely important to maintain your balance. 
So, when you hit their weak points lightly, they fall quickly. The idea is to hit their weak points in a flash. We do a lot of bone conditioning where we, we, we bang our arms and shins into each other. Now he's twisting and cutting into the attack. And it hurts me a lot worse than it hurts him. Throughout the Sun Chin Cutter, the mind must be focused, the body steady, and the spirit calm. All outside stress must fail to penetrate as if the body is made of iron. We're pushing our bodies to the point that a human body was not intended to go to. We uh, kick each other and we hit each other and we harden the body. It's called iron shirt or iron body training. Tonight is like regular training, all except for the very end where Sensei beats me and, and beats me until I give. And what that does is he tests my level of advancement as far as my body hardness, my mental awareness, and just my general abilities as a fighter and as a karate practitioner. It's not sparring because that would give me way too much credit. There's, me sparring him is like me trying to fight Godzilla. It's just not going to happen. But it tests my ability, so um, it's going to hurt bad. That's part of it. <laughs> It's his way of nurturing me, making me stronger. Doesn't feel like it at the time, but he's making me stronger. <laughs> now, uh, when I get killed. <laughs> Sensei has tremendous power, but he's also twice as fast as I am. I have enough power in a punch that if I hit his little body, I'm gonna knock it about 10 feet back. But the thing is, and he punches so fast that by the time I'm thinking of hitting, I'm having to defend a hit coming in. So I just can't match his speed. It's hard enough just to keep those punches from landing and killing me without trying to stick something out there. <laughs> it's over. Some nights I leave with a bloody nose and a black eye. He may have cracked my rib on that one shot.